Hey, bro. Long time no see, huh? You look great. And I'm glad you are doing great, because I thought you were still going to be the same old loser as before. <laughs> How did you manage to become a general manager of a company? But I guess this company must be pathetic, huh? Because they promoted a high school dropout like you. Did you lie to them about your educational background? But then again, that means that a university graduate like me will be promoted to general manager in no time, right? Let me know if they are looking for someone like me now. <laughs> Athena, can you stop texting me? I'm swamped right now. I'm in the office, just like you should be. I don't have time for your nonsense. And neither do you. Dude, you're texting me back now. So obviously, you're not that busy. <laughs> I'm on my 15-minute break now, but you're not supposed to be on yours yet. It's your first day today, so focus on your work and stop playing with your phone. You're breaking the rules by looking at the phone during work. Shut up! You're not the boss of me. You've been taking your break for ages. Why don't you get off your lazy ass and get back to work, dude? Listen to me. I'm warning you as the general manager of the company and not as your brother. You work under my supervision. You have to do what I say. Huh? Are you joking? Like I said, you're not my boss. You're just my brother. Even though we are in different departments, and I'm not your direct boss, this company only has 35 employees, so we're bound to run into each other a lot. That's the downside of being in a small company like this. Anyways, everyone knows we are siblings, but I told them to ignore our relationship because this is work. If you're slacking off, I can fire you on the spot. I told all the managers to do the same thing. So don't expect any favors from me just because I'm your older brother. Oh my god, are you for real? Why are you being such a jerk and a tyrant with me? Just let me relax here. Stop wasting time and get back to work. This conversation is over. I'm so bored, man. This work sucks. My manager said he's training me, but all I do is enter data on an Excel sheet. I've been doing this since this morning. I can't stand this. It's only your first day, so learn how to do your job. You have to start from the basics, you know. Besides, I heard that you suck at computers, so that's why they're giving you this training. Excuse me? Who said that? That's so rude, man. It's not just you who sucks at computers. Young people these days have no clue how to use them because everyone is on the phone. No one buys laptops and computers anymore. But as a company, we have to use computers, you know. We can't just run everything on the phone. Just make sure you take your training seriously and learn properly. Pay attention, dude. Are you insulting me? It just sounds like you're saying that I'm a useless employee who doesn't know how to use a computer. This is nothing to me. I can handle everything. I'm not insulting you. And I didn't even say you're a useless person, right? It all depends on how you take your training seriously. Then, we will know if you are useless or not. By the way, you're the slowest person in typing out of all the new 5 employees who took the typing test this morning, remember? So stop complaining. Oh, I didn't know you knew about that. It's none of your business, man. I was just slow this morning because it's my first day and I'm not used to typing on the computer. Of course I know. All the managers got to report everything to me. Anyways, make sure you practice your computer skills and take the training seriously. Once they're used to the computer, it will be fun and easy. So yeah, stop ditching your work and get back on it. Good luck! Yeah, whatever, man. You don't need to tell me how to use a computer. Hey, Lincoln. Ah, uh, what do you want from me now? Why can't you just focus on your work? You have to learn how to stop bothering me even before you learn how to use a computer. Oh my god, didn't you check the time? It's already past 5 p.m. I'm finished with work. I already clocked out, so I'm heading home now. No overtime for you. See, the rest of the new employees are still working at their desks. They are diligent workers, unlike you. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, I wanted to ask you something. Right before I left the office, I saw a very handsome guy coming into the office. I think he said he's doing business with you? Who is he? What does he do? And what's his name? 
He's so hot. I really want to get to know him. Ah, a handsome guy. Not sure who you are talking about. I do business with many people. I saw the office calendar for today, and I believe he's someone from the M&A company, but it doesn't say his name in the title. So tell me who he is! Oh, he must be Gerald Smith from M&A. He's one of the sales managers there. Mr. Gerald Smith, huh? What a wonderful name and great looks he has. Yo, you better not fall in love with him. Just so you know, he has a wife and kids. Oh my god, are you serious? I don't think I saw any rings on his fingers. It doesn't matter if he's wearing the ring or not. Even though we don't work together in the same office, we all know that he loves his wife and kids a lot. He always talks about them to us, so you better not do anything foolish and cause any problems to him and his family. I won't forgive you if anything like that happens. Okay, whatever. This time only, I'll listen to a general manager who is a high school dropout. I'm not that stupid. So don't worry, dude. Don't insult me like that. And I'm very serious. So you better take this seriously. You better not cause any drama or trouble to anyone. Dude, work sucks, man. It's so boring. Can you do something about this? It's only been an hour since I came into the office but it feels like I've been here forever, man. Stop talking and pay attention to your work. Do not use your phone during your work hours unless you're on your break. Whatever, man. It's been a month since I've been working here and my supervisor only lets me do typing tasks. It's so lame. I wanna do something else. The rest of the new employees who joined with me are already going on business trips and doing outside sales stuff. You even took one of the guys for business training outside of the office. What is all this? Are you guys discriminating against me? If so, I'm going to go to the HR manager and talk about this. I'm training Matthew to be an outside sales representative, so I took him around outside. He applied to do outside sales job, so he's got to be out. Not just sit in the office and do data entry. And that goes the Lincoln way for the other newbies. They all want to do outside sales stuff, so that's why they get to go out very often, unlike you. So this isn't discrimination at all. Then, can you change my supervisor to you? I want you to be my trainer. I don't like my supervisor who's training me now. So boring and mean. If you're my trainer, then I get to go outside more often like the rest of the guys. Which means I can go shopping while working, right? <laughs> oh, you don't have to follow me when we are out, okay? I always wanted to go to the mall near the office, but never had the chance. Lunch break is too short. But if I get to go out during work, then I can totally go there. Are you crazy? Do you even know what you're saying? You're not supposed to go out shopping during working hours. Everyone is working outside, not shopping. Well, it's not like you follow all of them outside, right? So you don't know what they're doing outside when you're not around. They might be ditching too. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe you're not taking this work seriously. Anyways, you're hired to be an administrative assistant, so you won't have a chance to go outside like others. Your job is to stay in the office and do all the administrative tasks. You aren't supposed to go outside. So your job right now is to learn how to use the computer properly. Hurry up and learn your job quickly and make good use of yourself. Now stop talking and get back to work. Oh my god, this sucks. It's so unfair. Everyone is so mean to me. I hate this. Hey, Athena, where are you now? Why aren't you answering my calls? Lunch break is over and you aren't in the office. So what's going on? Hey, Lincoln. What's up, man? Where are you now? And why aren't you back in the office? I'm at the cafe near the office. I'm having my lunch now, so don't bother me. You need to get back to work, dude. You're supposed to eat your lunch during your lunch break and not after the lunch break. Hurry up and get back to the office. Huh? Why should I do that? I'm starting to eat now. Besides, I'm doing outside sales stuff. I'm actually working. Like I told you a couple of days ago, you're just an administrative assistant. So you got to be working in the office. There's nothing for you to do outside. So come back now. Stop being mean and unfair to me. Matthew was outside too, but I never heard you warning him to go back to the office. That's because Matthew is an outside sales representative. He has to be outside. There is nothing much for him to do in the office. Gosh, how many times do I have to tell you this? Oh my gosh, this is so unfair. 
I should have applied to the sales department so that I could go outside and work like Matthew and the other newbies. They get to go outside and chill during work hours, and no one yells at them, even if they go and eat lunch outside after break time. Do you even know what outside sales mean? I feel like you don't get the meaning of outside sales. Don't think I'm that stupid, man. I know what an outside sales job is. You guys go work outside, right? But their boss or supervisors aren't with them. So they can go wherever they want and do whatever they want, right? No one's gonna find out and yell at them. I wanna do that too. Dude, you're totally wrong. If they do whatever they want outside, then we are all going to find out. They got a report of everything they do to the upper management. If they really just hang out during working hours, then we will cut their salaries and working hours or even fire them. But no one watches them, so who knows? They can lie about what they did to you guys too. <laughs> Don't you know? All outside sales representatives have a schedule to follow. They have lists of customers they got to visit each day. This schedule is reviewed by the upper management and once they reach the customer's office, they got to call the supervisor. And once they are done with the meeting, they got to report back to the supervisor too. If there are any changes to the schedule, they got to report to their supervisor and me right away. At the end of the day, when they are back in the office, they got to write up a report. They all got to keep reporting what they did the whole day. So they can't be ditching around like you. We all know what they've been doing the whole day. Oh my god. Are you for real? I didn't know they'd do all of that. Ugh, that's none of my business. I'm just starting to have my lunch, so I will be back later. You better hurry up and come back. If not, you're going to have to stay overtime today. Ugh, you're so annoying. I'm going to tell mom and dad that you're so mean to me. They're going to get mad at you for sure. So be ready for that. <laughs> Hi mom, long time no talk. Hope you have been well this whole time. What a shocker to hear from you. I thought I would never hear from you again. Actually, I had no intention of contacting you at all. Ever since I cut ties with you guys, I didn't think I had any reason to contact you anymore. But sadly, this time, I have to contact you urgently. So what do you want from me? It's about your spoiled daughter, Athena. What's up with Athena, my baby girl? It looks like she's not taking her job seriously and it's starting to annoy everyone in the office. She's causing so much trouble and inconvenience to us. Does she even care about that? Dad begged my CEO to give her this position because it doesn't seem like it. All she does is complain and cause trouble. Not only is she slow at learning how to do her job, but she's been ditching her work. Like the other day she went to a cafe to have her lunch after the break hours and she never returned to the office that day. This is outrageous and everyone was angry with her. Oh no, she did that, huh? <laughs> Mom, this is not funny. You better warn her too. She won't listen to me, but she will listen to you, right? If she keeps doing this, then she's going to get fired for sure. Why should I warn her? It's your job as her older brother to protect her at work. You have to help her out, Lincoln. Oh my god, what did you just say? Because you are the general manager at that office. Dad begged the CEO to let Athena work there with you. We were hoping that you would be there to look after her. Oh, and Athena told me that you've been very mean and rude to her, right? Stop being cruel and be nice to her. You're her older brother. Remember that. And when her boss is upset with her, then you should be the one who gets scolded by her boss, you know? That's how you protect your younger sister. Well, too bad. I'm not supposed to give her special treatment just because we are related. The CEO said that's the one condition for her to get hired here. She's not special. You and dad spoiled Athena too much. Now she's just too stubborn and selfish. She's out of control, man. But now that she's working, she's gotta learn. The society is strict and tough. She's got to know that no one's gonna be as nice as you or dad to her. Oh my gosh. How rude of you to say such a thing. I can't believe you, Lincoln. Athena is a precious little princess. She's very special to us, so she's got to be treated specially as her older brother. You gotta tell that to your CEO. Athena is special, so treat her right. Why can't you be nice to your sister? You've got to treat her differently than others too. Oh, I can't believe you for saying those things. She's not special to anyone but you guys. Besides, in the office, I'm her supervisor and not her brother. I must be fair to everyone. I plan to be more strict with her, so she better learn how to act properly and take her job seriously. Or else, she's going to have to leave the company. 
As her mother, you should warn her of that. Just wanted to let you know that your daughter is out of control, man. Wait, hold on, Lincoln. Don't be mean to your sister. Hey, Athena. Oh my god, dude. What have you done? Uh, what do you want from me? Can you stop calling me? It's so annoying, man. I'm so in a bad mood right now, so I don't want to talk to you. Leave me alone. I don't want to listen to your lecture. It's just a waste of time. And I'm so not going to listen to whatever you're going to say. So stop messaging me. No way. I gotta talk to you right now. I'm very pissed at what you've done. You caused so much trouble and inconvenience to Gerald and his company. Oh, you know about that already. News travels so fast, huh? <laughs> his boss called me to complain about you. He claims that you did a terrible thing to Gerald and they are all upset with you. I won't forgive you, dude. Claim? You mean crepe. Yum, I would love to have some crepes right now. Maybe I should go to a cafe near my place. Don't you know I'm serious right now? I heard that you went to M&A without telling anyone in the office to look for Gerald, right? Then you tried to seduce him when you guys were alone in the room. Yeah, I went for outside sales work at m and I don't need to report to anyone about this. I'm such a young and pretty girl, so any guy would be happy if I seduced them, right? I mean, I wouldn't seduce an ugly old guy, but Gerald is special. He's super hot, tall, and kind. I like him a lot. I don't mind if he has a wife and kids. I want to go out with him. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe you did this. You're such a cheap slut. He's not going to fall for you. That's why he reported this matter to his boss. And they are furious with you. You guys have to be thankful to me because I'm going to bring a lot of business with m and I deserve to have my pay raised a lot. So be grateful for my beauty and hard work. Oh, and I might be promoted to an even higher position than you. So you better not act like you're smarter than me, dude. Ha! Huh. Yeah, thanks to you, we almost lost all the business with m and it's all because you went to his office to do outside sales work. Wait, what are you saying? The CEO and I went to m and and apologized to Gerald and the CEO. We just got back to the office. What do you mean by apologize? I didn't do anything wrong. So we all discussed that we wanted to keep our business together. But all of us agreed that you shouldn't be in this office anymore because you're going to cause more trouble. We're going to fire you as of today. We are so sick of you and you don't belong here. Oh my god, what? This isn't right. I didn't do anything wrong. I only went to their office to do outside sales work. You weren't doing outside sales work at all. All you did was cause inconvenience to our important business partner. You almost ruined our business partnership. You're so mean. How can you say that? By the way, do you even know why you get to work in my office? A loser like you who never had a proper job and was able to get a good position in my company? Don't call me a loser. At least I went to high school and university. On top of that, you slapped the guy's wife and she's suing you now, right? Did she really break her nose in the fall? So what? That's none of your business. So shut up. Dad and mom wanted to pay the settlement on their behalf of you, but she didn't want to accept their money. And she wanted you to work hard and pay her back. So dad had to beg my CEO to give you a position in my office. It seems like you're not grateful for this job because you're doing whatever you like and causing trouble for everyone. I bet mom and dad will be disappointed in you for doing all of these stupid things. This is all your fault, dude. Mom told me that if I work in your office, I will be treated special because I'm your sister. But instead, you're so mean to me. And everyone in the office is not nice to me. This sucks. I hate this company. All of you are vicious people. Oh my god. You're just crazy. I'm tired of talking to you. Anyways, you're going to get fired for sure. So come back to the office now and clear the desk. Make sure to pack all of the stupid decorations and makeup items you have on your desk. If you leave any of this, we're going to throw them away. Stop asking me to do stuff. You're just a high school dropout. Loser. You have no right to tell me what to do. Yeah, I'm a high school dropout. So what? Even though I didn't graduate high school, I'm a way better person than you and have a proper job. And even though you're a college graduate, you don't have any common sense. You're just a troublemaker. Oh my god. How dare you say that to me? I left home when I was 15 and that time I didn't have a job or house. 
My life was miserable but my CEO saved me. He is the one who helped me by giving me a home and a job. Thanks to him, I can live a comfortable life now. I owe him a lot and I'm so grateful to him. So I'm going to work hard and be the best I can. I will work in his company forever. Don't you dare make fun of me because I'm a high school dropout. My life is a way better than yours. I don't need to rely on anyone for me to survive in this world. Shut up already. I'm going to tell mom and dad about what you just said. They're going to be so mad at you. Go ahead. I'm not afraid of them. Besides, they aren't going to be mad at me. They will be mad at you for sure. Huh? What are you even saying? You're crazy. Dad got fired because of you. What do you mean by that? His work has nothing to do with me. Don't tell me you don't even know where your father works at. Yeah, I don't know. And I don't care where he works. There's no problem with that. You should know and care about it. No wonder you caused so much trouble to him. What are you trying to say? I don't get it at all. Don't you know that dad works at MA? He's one of the employees there. Wait, what? Are you kidding me? And Gerald is MA CEO's nephew. You seduced the wrong guy, dude. Oh my god. What? I can't believe he's related to the CEO. There's more to it. Dad begged my CEO to give you a job and he had no choice but to accept you because he didn't want to ruin the business partnership between us and MA. The CEO of MA found out what Dad did and they were so upset with him. They hate when their employees do dirty tricks to get whatever they want. Even though dad is the general manager at their company, he made the CEO mad, so he gets fired. This is all because of you. I hope you feel bad about what you did, dude. Are you serious? This all can't be true, right? Tell me this is a joke! I'm serious. I don't joke about this stuff. Anyway, since we all cut ties a long time ago, we will remain as is. I'm no longer related to you guys. We aren't family at all. The only family I have is my CEO and the office workers. They mean so much to me, unlike you guys. Wait, don't leave us like that. You gotta help us. No way. Clean up your mess. Bye. No, no. Wait, Lincoln. Please help us. Lincoln, are you there? So dad and Athena got fired at the same time and because of this incident, the family relationship fell apart very quickly. My parents argued every single day and one day they got a divorce. They were renting an apartment but since they couldn't afford it anymore, they were kicked out. Dad started working as a cashier in a supermarket but because he used to have a high position and salary, he couldn't handle working as a part-time cashier so he quit in a few days. Since he couldn't keep a job, he was always broke. And as for mom, she couldn't work because she had been a stay-at-home housewife. So she decided to go back to her parents. But when my grandparents found out why they got a divorce and all the things that Athena did, they threw her out of their house. So she became homeless. As for Athena, she had no place to go. So she started working at the night bar. So the family who cut ties with me is now no longer a family. They're all separated and estranged. What a sad ending, right? Anyways, I promised myself that I would be a kind and hardworking person no matter what. I should never be like them because I deserve to be happy. <laughs>